Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be talking about Iron Throne and the Capital War benefits. So we're here at the Capital, and let's go ahead and first show you this first thing, and it's called Kingdom Storage. So Kingdom Storage, you can see it by clicking on the Capital, and it's like this little gift box here on the right hand side. You get free gifts every day. People can spend and donate Kingdom tickets that they can get from different packages, and put in whatever they would like. Um, to the kingdom storage, and there's about 99 that you will, 100 that you'll get out of it. You can claim it. You can tell your friends about it. There's a little message that goes in the kingdom chat, and just nice free rewards they can get on a daily basis. But there are no notifications to it, so you have to be quick to act. When we open up the capital, we'll see that we are the king. Yeah, this is really special because I can actually show this to you as the king of Kingdom 50, which is named Pancake Mix. So. We got Pancake Mix here, Kingdom 50. We can change the flag, we can change the name, we can change the castle skin if we would like. Here we have a list of the different titles that we have for the kingdom. So we look at Swag, he has uh, the console, so he has Troop Attack, Troop Defense, and Troop March Speed. Um, and there's a whole bunch of different rewards that are great if you want to give your uh, tactical edge to different players in your kingdom. Or you could go ahead and give Research Speed could give construction speed or dif different resource production rates increases to different people who are going to be doing a lot of growth. This is fantastic for a lot of heavy spenders who are going to be spending a lot of research, uh, a lot of speed ups on research or construction to hit those higher levels and save them a little bit of money. Then we can get into some of the negative titles. Negative titles are great. So let's say someone's going out and they're attacking your kingdom and they're going out, they're causing a lot of havoc, they're breaking whatever kingdom rules you have set in place. You can give them a negative title um, to go ahead and slow down their process, slow down their growth, slow down their ability to kill and potentially make them lose battles. So we've got a whole bunch of different ones of these. Now if we go to the capital shop, we'll see that we get, get Kingdom Research Boost. So this is an additional boost on top of whatever world boost that we are currently going on at the time. So you can do one for 5 minutes or 60 minutes and the people can vote and tell you what they want to see. So this is absolutely fantastic with that regard. Now when we go over to the Capital Vault, we'll go ahead and see that there's a couple different chests that we can utilize. So there's Epic Chests, there's Rare Chests, and then there's also Immortal Chests, but I've already used all four of the Immortal Chests. So if we look at the Epic Chest, this is about 50% of the value of what we're getting out of the Immortal Chest. So we get 50 times of the level 40 gear, which is phenomenal. This is especially great to utilize on free-to-play players. So it can give them a tactical advantage to go ahead and get some of those harder to reach gear pieces. And we also get 300 war coins and one invasion teleport. The invasion teleport does have a time limit associated with it. So be sure not to open this chest until you're ready to utilize that invasion teleport. Or if you just do not want to invade at all. The immortal chest will give 100 times of these level 40 gears, one invasion teleport, and 600 war coins. Now if we look at the rare chest, this is going to be giving us level 30 gear and it's going to be giving us times 100 as well as one invasion teleport and 150 war coins so keep this in mind if you want to invade and you want backup go ahead and give these chests to people who are online and ready to help you before you start prioritizing give it to, giving it to other people now if I want to bestow it what you gotta do is you have to click on that bestow and then you can type in the lord's name of the person you are going to give it to you can copy and paste nice easy function but we're gonna search for swag and we're gonna click bestow now, we've already given Swag an Immortal Chest, so we cannot give him an Epic Chest, so keep this in mind. You can only, each Lord, or Lordess, I don't know how to pronounce that, I'm sorry, can receive one chest, period. So they can receive one Immortal, or one Epic, or one Rare, but they cannot receive two Immortal, they cannot receive one Immortal, one Epic. So it's, that allows you to spread a, the wealth among more people. Also has a little countdown timer. Now, a couple other great benefits from this is every time that we type in chat, we can see what title we have. So this applies to me as the king, and it also applies to our castle, where we have a little icon of our different titles that we can see here on Swag, White Lion, and Mar, as well as my own castle. And a nice little thing is when we go into Kingdom Chat, now this is only user side. go ahead and send this and it shows up as red rather than the normal yellow that we would normally see from anyone else but this is only king uh 
personal side, other people would not see this. Um, so that's a couple of the different benefits that we can get out of the capital. Winning capital it happens once every two weeks. Another great thing that we can get out of this is through the Alliance Vault. So if we look at the Alliance Vault, we can get 10% uh, silver from whatever is being opened from all the R5s in every alliance. So every single day at 11 a.m. I'm getting all the X amount of gold depending on how much is open on those accounts. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, want to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned with all the latest comings from Cabin Cowboy. Thank you all for watching. It's a pleasure talking to all of you.